Welcome to Surprise. Hey everybody, this is Kasu and welcome to an unexpected mod review or rather a mod update per se. I'll be saying what I meant by the end of this video and today we'll be going through Minecraft of all things. And as much as you know, some people hate it, I do like Minecraft. It is a very creative game and very interesting game. But today we're not going to spiel about Minecraft. We're going to spiel about this new mod called New World. New World is a dinosaur Minecraft mod, surprise, surprise, dinosaur, which uh, adds in quite a lot of new features and stuff. However, uh, it's not all released yet. Currently, the mod is in its 0.1.2 alpha stage and every major update or major things that will happen i will be updating it because the update from 0.1.1 to 0.1.2 is just some minor updates i won't be covering those i'll be covering major updates so this is technically a first for a long run of uh, minecraft of this particular mod review or mod showcase and what is the new world? Well, as I said just now, the new world is a dinosaur mod where you will dig up fossils like over there. And with those said fossils, you will revive dinosaurs and keep them in pens and stuff like that. And without further ado, let's begin. And this mod is pretty big as you can see if I just put add new world here <coughs> or other add new here. Uh, it's, it's pretty big. Like there is quite a lot of new blocks and stuff for example like decoration blocks and stuff like that i won't be going through any of the decoration blocks but i'll be going through all of these like you know aquamarines and amber ores but for these plants and stuff i won't be going through any of them as i want to focus mainly on the dinosaur or the revival part of the mod but i'll be going through any of the random uh, machineries like for example uh, the there's quite a lot, there's a bit of them, but again, I need to emphasize this mod is not completed yet. So it, there is a lot of feature missing, but when I reach that particular feature, the mod developer actually, not published, but actually like showcase what is the quote unquote roadmap for the um, this mod. So first things first, how or uh, what new stuff is generated? Well, these are the new stuff and encased ice ore the aquamarine ore peridot ore and ruby ore and all of these are just you know materials and these materials are going to be used to craft stuff inside the mod itself and next up is i'm going to pick up a pickaxe these items amber ores and all variety of fossil ores as shown here all of these fossil ores are as the name suggests once you mine them you will get some fossils out of it however this particular part is going to be a bit more interesting than the rest so if i mine them as you can tell i will be collecting these not not these these are all not inside the mod but only these like these fossils like this five fossil is collected from these things and this one ember as it's an ember shard if i'm not wrong uh so in creative mode, let me time set day. In creative mode, if you place down any of the uh, fossil ores, like so, you are not going to be able to collect any of the different types of fossils. Like all these are different types of fossils from different time periods. These are actual time periods in uh, paleontology. And if you were to put down a creative like in creative mode you'll place on these ores and i will to go back to survival mode all these ores will give me fossil and these fossils cannot be used at the moment they can't be used to do anything uh inside the mod so now that we know that these fossils are kind of useless where do you get these fossils well these fossils are fairly interesting because you get them uh, in their natural spawning world so first things first all of them must be natural spawning in order for you to uh, even get any of these fossil and secondly different fossils spawn at different uh, y levels so i actually have a list from the mod developer himself uh, to tell you at which level what spawns at what 
So I'm gonna go through all of it relatively slowly. So starting from the bottom is the Cambrian era. The Cambrian era, which is this particular fossil here, spawns from level negative 63 to level uh negative 51. Next up is the Ordovician era, which is this era here, which goes from negative 52 to negative 41. Next up is the Silurian era, which goes from negative 42 to negative 31. Next up is the Devonian era, which goes from negative 32 to negative 21. Next up is the Carboniferous era, which goes from negative 22 to negative 11. Then is the Permian era, which goes from negative 12 to negative 1. Then we go to the Triassic era, the more commonly known era, to negative 2 to 7, Y level 7. After that is the Jurassic era, the most famous era of them all because of certain movie. From, and it goes from level 8, Y level 8 to Y level 27. Then next is the Cretaceous era which goes from level 28 to level 49. After that is the Paleogene era, which goes from level 50 to level 61. The Neogene era, which goes from level 62 to level 75. And lastly, the Quaternary era, the, from level 76 to level 100. So, uh, just to show you the difference in levels, which are, so I just gonna show you the difference in like the levels. I am currently in creative mode. Uh, I have tested out myself, but I'm gonna show it to you guys anyways. I am currently in creative mode. I have on my night vision and I have downloaded an X-ray mod to show you all of these uh, shiny blocks, which I'm going to show you what you get. So currently I am at, oh my God, this makes me want to puke by the way. So currently I'm at Y level negative 34 so at negative 34 i should be getting certain mod uh certain uh fossils uh, some, uh let me see what fossils i'm supposed to get at negative 34 i should be getting silurian fossils so let's see okay i'm gonna wet this a bit yep Never mind, I got it right here actually. Okay, so as you can see, I have some Silurian fossils. But let's find something... Let's find something higher, how about that? So let's make a major difference. So currently, I'm at Y level negative 3. So the fossils i supposed to get would be... Level negative 3 would be Triassic Era. So let's mine these fossils. And I got Permian Era. What the hell? Oh, sorry, negative 12 to negative 2. Sorry, yeah, 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 sorry, this is correct, it's correct. Negative 12 to negative 2. My bad, my bad. Okay, so I'm getting Permian Fossils. I can tell I'm collecting Permian Fossils from this particular uh, from this particular level. So it is working, this feature is working, where different levels have different, uh, different periods in time of fossils which you can get. Now back to the main part of the mod review. Now one more thing to note, there are other fossil remains that are not currently in those said fossils like for example frozen parasite, frozen skin, frozen lamprey and frozen seed and frozen Cenozoic era. These are all found in the frozen remains. I'm not very sure whether the Y level affects it but I'm pretty sure it does not. And now that we are done with uh, the ores and the fossils, let's go through some of the crafting recipes to recreate the dinosaurs. Now, first up is this, the Petri dish, which is made by five gasplings in a form of a boat. What does it do? Not really sure because, again, this mod is very early in alpha and I don't really have a clue on what any of these does. And next up is the test tube. Similarly, no idea what it does, but it requires two glasses and one flint. Next up is the empty syringe. Now, from what I remember the mod developer telling me, this syringe is actually to put in the DNA to pump into a chicken egg so that you can hatch it. And the recipe is an iron ingot, 
a glass here and a flint at the top right hand corner. Next up is the empty pen drive, which requires four coals at the north, south, east, west of or the top right, left, and bottom of the crafting table, a flint at the bottom left, a iron ingot at the bottom right, and a parry dot, which is one of the new ores in this mod. And following that, this particular uh rock crossing recipe, which is an iron ingot in a cross, creates this a gear, which is used to craft many other things inside the mod. Also, I just realized my sound is off. And with the new aquamarine and flint at the four corners with glass panes on the left and right of the crafting table, you can create the holographic screen frame. This holographic screen frame is used again to craft other stuff inside the mod. And this similarly looking recipe, which instead of it has two glass panes and the aquamarine at the top, but instead of the bottom being a aquamarine, it's flint at the in a triangle formation with the bottom left and right being uh, iron ingots creates this the holographic keyboard which is also to craft something inside the mod next up is this in this format of iron ingots paradox and aquamarine you can create the holographic central memory which again is to create something else inside the mod but some of these stuff are still not inside yet and lastly a quite important machine is the grinder. To create the grinder, you require one holographic screen frame here, two ingots on the top, two gears on the left and right middle, a glass pane depth step in the middle, and the bottom being flint will create the grinder. So what is the grinder? The grinder is actually the first step in reviving the dinosaurs. The mod developer actually on their Discord posted a picture on the step-by-step -step process on how to revive the dinosaur basically showing what's to come and this is the very first step so how do you use this grinder well first of all it doesn't need anything to power it and you just need to throw this stuff into it and they will create remains as shown here and these grinder fossil remains will you know indicate which time period they are from so from my understanding there are different time periods where I have different creatures different multiple types of creatures inside the mod itself and also there's a cute that's not cute there's a cool little animation on you grinding even though it's a bit loud uh you know to be very frank with you it's a little bit loud but with all these remains uh you can start creating your dinosaur so what else can you create in the grinder well i have a bunch of other stuff in the grinder for example this mono Nikus which is the only dinosaur that is currently in the game for Sly Skull, the fresh skull, and the raw meat. So if I place a skull inside here, it will grind it and give me a fossilized bone, grind the fossilized bone with a specific species to it. So you don't have to go through an RNG to find that creature again, you just need to make one grow up and grind them, kill them and grind their bones. As morbid as that sounds. And if you use the fresh fossil, uh, obviously you will get biomass or with a DNA of the Mononikers. And if you were to use the raw meat of the Mononikers, you're able to get another biomass uh, of the Mononikers. So we might think to ourselves, so what's the difference between like, you know, grinded fossilized bones and the biomass? I have no idea. This mod just came out in alpha i have no idea what any of these things are but as the mod comes out i will surely be uh, reporting or rather be showcasing them uh, one by one each major update at a time and unfortunately this is uh, where the process of the dinosaur resurrection in this mod will end as the rest of the parts have not been implemented yet in fact i will show a image of what the process will be like on the screen and as you can tell the process currently we are at is only part one there's still part two to five to go through and all of those parts have not been implemented yet but worry not as and when uh, the mod has any major update i will still be going through all of them one by one and now let's uh, go through some of the other more miscellaneous stuff inside the mod so first up is this, the editor workbench. The editor workbench is used to create some pretty interesting stuff. To craft it, you need white carpets here, two oak planks right in the middle, and a new type of lock called the sequoia rock lock. 
Anyway, thinking to yourself, how do I find the Sequoia logs? Well, they are not spawning in the game as of yet. And in fact, a lot of the new logs like the Baobab log, the Guana cast log, all these stuff are not in the game, are not naturally spawning in the game yet. Heck, they don't even have a sapling yet to spawn with them. So you can't really get them in the game as of yet. However, you do need them uh, to create this particular workbench and they are found in the overall spawning once the full mod comes out or as the mod comes out. And so this, you know, when you right click on the edges workbench, this is pretty empty. What is there to it? Well, this is where this comes in. So if you put a painting and three sign, three sign boards of any kind at the bottom, you will get this, a blank attraction signboard. So this blank attraction signboard on its own, you know, you can't really put it down or anything. But if you put it inside here, you'll be able to craft a lot of different signboards for your soon to come Jurassic Park. As you can tell, there is quite a, little, a lot of different little designs. And I think my favorite design is uh, not this one. Which one is it? Yes, this one, the Gentle Giants design. Buy because I'm biased and okay, hold on. This is a, 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 a bit of I need to put it here to make it look nicer. There, there you go. The gentle giants padding zoo. So, yeah, this is just a decorative uh block for you to put down your or uh, rather put down this attraction sign as though it's like a real Jurassic Park. And now let's go through some of the other miscellaneous stuff, for example, the painting. These are the paintings, some of them are from you know Jurassic Park, some of them are. You know, pixelated. I have no idea what this particular one is. It looks really pixelated. I think I can actually. Nope, never mind. I have no idea what that was. Yeah, it's uh quite pixelated. From afar, you can see like what is it? Like you know, that's a T Rex. That's a um, Jurassic Park. That's... Oh wait, no, it's it's supposed to be linked together. I just flip that outside down. Whoops. Okay, never mind. But yeah, uh, so all this painting, there's no way to craft them yet. I asked the mod developer, they say there's no way to craft them yet, but they'll include uh, them in the future. So just be patient, I guess. So these are all the different types of berries you can find in Overworld. I include them because they are a kind of a food item. And you can find each of them in different biomes. For example, the strawberry can be found in the cherry grove. The raspberry can be found in forests and plains. The cloudberry can be found in mangrove and swamp. Lastly, the blueberry can be found in taiga and old grove birch forest. All of these uh, will give you know a like their respective fruit and they act as how the berries in the game are so you can right click on the floor to plant them and stuff like that. Now that we've completed all of the more technical part, let's go through what really matters in these kind of dinosaur mod packs or rather mods, which are the creatures. First things first is this particular cage. I have a butterfly net right over here. So in this you know, a short little AV, AV, uh, AV, AV, I, 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 the glass cage, I forgot the word. Uh, you, I have planted some, or rather, these are all of the different butterflies. So all these butterflies uh, will be spawning around in your world, and you can go and catch them, and, you know, make them into, as I put here, like, some sort of apiary, yeah, that's a word. Or some sort of, like, show, uh, some sort of small little zoo for people to, uh, you know, <coughs> see and, observe and appreciate like the beauty of nature and so how do you even catch any of these things so you use this butterfly net this butterfly net if i'm not wrong has a recipe which is two strings and two sticks in this manner which will create the butterfly net and if you right click one of them with it you'll be able to catch it right over here and if once you're inside or rather once you make a cage you can just put them down like this there are a total of five different types of uh, butterflies in the game as of now, uh, being the Cloudless Sulfur Butterfly, the Goliath Burrowing Butterfly, the Monarch Butterfly, the Blue Morpho Butterfly, and the Polydemus Swallowtail Butterfly. Again, all of these models are actually really, really nice. I actually really like all these models. It looks very... as realistic as Minecraft can allow it. And I really like it. Oh, one more thing to note, uh, this Hollow Glass is actually part of the... Uh, mod and it looks pretty nice but enough about butterflies let's go through the other creatures in this game so first up is this this is the nautilus the nautilus is if i'm not wrong a creature that will spawn 
by itself uh, in the overworld. Uh, so you can just find them swimming around the ocean along with some squids. So what do they do or what do they give? So once you kill one, you gain its Nautilus shell, which is part of the vanilla Minecraft. This Nautilus raw meat, which once cooked, can become a cooked meat. And yeah, that's it for this particular creature. Nothing much. And next up is this guy, which is the Arapaima. The Arapaima is... As you can tell, a relatively large fish, and if I'm not wrong, they are also spawning all around the world. Uh, and when you kill one, you'll get the Ara Prima raw meat, which is basically the whole damn fish. And once you cook it, you'll get this Ara Prima cooked meat. And lastly, is this guy, the Mononikers, who can't shut up. So, the Mononikers, currently for the mod, it does not really interact with anything or much stuff because currently again this is a i don't know how many times i need to emphasize this this is a very early version or rather this is the alpha version of the mod that you can indeed try and find or try and try out yourself in the uh, description below however uh, it's still in early or rather alpha so there's a lot of things that they need to work on it but as you can tell the model of the of the mono nikers honestly pretty it's pretty good as you can see that there is the fluffy feather which i don't know how you make things look fluffy in minecraft honestly and it has certain basic movements like walking around squ squawking raising his head and stuff like that but uh the mod developer did say that they are going to be adding different uh or other different ways that these creatures will interact be it with each other or with certain uh what's the word certain enrichment blocks and items which again these are not implemented yet but uh it will be as they also be implementing mood to the dinosaurs so that it feels like you're actually trying to take care of them and when you kill the Mononikers, what do you get? You get these, all of the bones. And all of these bones currently only can be used to be grinded up into uh, the biomass you saw. Also, you'll get the feathers, the tail feathers, and the meat. This is uh, what you get from killing one Mononikers. Uh, I killed one last night to see what are the drops. And from my understanding, it sh the drop should be pretty much... 100% because it's like a one-to-one, -one, like uh, two legs, two arms, a uh, body, a uh, neck, a uh, tail, and a fresh skull. So other than these items, there are two more things that is associated with the Mononikers. And that is this, the Mononikers cooked meat, which is, you know, you just need to cook the raw meat of the Mononikers. And the Mononikers egg and hatched egg. So what's the difference between these two eggs? So the mod developer told me that this egg is your final product after you go through the five step process or rather the, the revival process of the uh, dinosaurs and the last step the very last step is to actually put this into an incubator which is not yet in the game and once it is ready or you know cooked up you have this the mononikers hatched egg where when you wrap it on the floor a mononikers will be born and as you can tell this is the baby mononikers i'm not sure whether it will grow in time into the mononikers however you can tell that even the baby has a different model so it's not like you know minecraft where the baby creature just has the same head but smaller body it has a whole other new model to the creature itself and honestly that is i really like to see i love to see uh you know people putting hard work into mods because i appreciate them a lot of that's why the fact that the baby and the adult has different models just makes it so very makes me very happy that they actually are taking this mod uh, seriously now before i end this mod review i uh have just a little bit of a hopeful wish that i hope to see is that uh this particular fossils like not fossils these particular bones like for example all of these bones from this one creature i hope that in the future we can make it like you can use it to make it into like a standee or like into you know something to put on a pedestal to showcase like in those museums because i think it would be really cool that if i were able to put this make a museum for myself put it there and showcase like as though as in a museum uh, because currently the only role for these uh fresh 
entire fresh skull and stuff like that is to be grind up into biomass to be turned into the creatures in the future oh and we're talking about that this guy actually grew up into you know a different pattern feature um not sure which is male which is female so there's a there's may, might be a chance that might be gender uh gender differences between uh the creatures and with that i have come to the end of this mod review again this particular mod is still in very early access or not early access in early alpha 0.1.2 so there's a lot of things that are going to be inside the game and i will be here to look through all of them and slowly update to you uh one by one every time a major update comes out so you guys can know at what point you know maybe like eh, like maybe i should play it once you know certain stuff are in and maybe i should like you know just chill and wait until the mod is actually more complete so i'll be here to actually update you guys about it and with that being said this has been kasu and i hope to see all of you in my next video or my next stream bye you know i was just finished editing this like yesterday at the time of now which is a saturday and we're just scrolling through my twitter feed and the new world decided to post this which is an alpha v02 which may or may not be coming out soon so yeah i expect a video once this is out however man i i just completed it man come on all right see you see you in the next video or stream bye